Hey guys, we're back with uh, Ultimate General. I had to think about that for a second, sorry. Uh, brain's just not working. Ultimate General Gettysburg. And uh, let's see what we're going as we are. The Union holding on to Cemetery Ridge. You see we've got 13,000 men with reinforcements. Seven, they've got 16,000 men. So let's see how it goes. Hmm. We've got sharpshooters. Got these guys coming up as well. Let's move these guys down here. And those guys as well, I think. Now, if we can, we want to try and cut off that area. But what we'll also do is move forces into that direction there. Actually, no, put them there. Try and counteract that push. So if we can take that point, that will be very helpful. Chuck the Confederate off there. That would be a helpful situation for us. Nope, gotta leave him there. Have them facing that way, I think. Get those guys to run. Get them up to there. Up to Harting or Horating or whatever it's called. Get them to push that advantage as best they can. Get these guys to push up to that hill. There's Buford, and there's Gamble Skirmies, and to fill that gap if we possibly can. Now, hopefully, oh goodness, these guys got done over. It's going to be rotten. Uh, actually, no, get them to fire there. Get them to fire there as well. And bring Heckman up as well. Oh, hello, reinforcements. Let's bring these guys up a little bit to try and support. Let's see if we can continue pushing them. Moving up with the core commanders. There we go. Move them up, spread them out a little bit. See if we can block those areas off a bit. See these guys doing okay. These guys trying to engage them. Actually what we'll do is we'll send a regiment that way. So you can see these guys can now start moving up. Cannons moving up as well. Get them to fire there, them to fire there, them to fire there. Get the 
skirmishers involved. Get Baxter to push up as well. Get those guys scales and the back tails getting involved. Oh heavens, we've got people coming in behind us. So the ebb and flow of battle. Good stuff. because they've got us penned in somewhat. Let's see, so these guys should be moving up as well. Move those guys in behind there if they can, while the line at the centre tries to hold as best it can against pressure from all directions. See if Ames there can deal with any kind of damage. Let's see, it's tricky. Right, let's get flanking on that lot. Okay, so you can see these guys now. The sharpshooters are getting involved. So hopefully we can start pushing the Louisiana Tigers, Paige and Avery off the top of that hill. But we've still got to be careful for those guys around the back. So let's move him up to Powers Hill. So he can engage a little bit better, I think. There we go. So now these guys can move up a little bit quicker. These guys can push through the center. So how are we doing? How are we holding here? It's kind of going all right. Let's get those guys to run. And we are starting to push back now. So you can see that we'll take on the Louisiana Tigers there. We've lost Seminary Ridge. Oh god, we have to there. Uh... So we've got people behind here now. Okay, let's move up to Sem Seminary Ridge if we can. And see what kind of damage we can do here. These guys moving up as well. Get them facing in the right direction. These guys are all facing doing their thing. Come on, move up, boys. Actually, let's move these guys up as well. Get them up close and personal. So hopefully now these guys can be engaged. And these guys can get up there as well. Can take that VP. these guys to focus on Thomas. Get 
herring focus fired with a cannon. Let's get these guys changed around, moved. Bring these guys down, bring these guys round. Using these guys to start pushing back off of that hill, Culp's Hill. At the same time, we'll get the skirmishers involved as well. We've got these guys going after Thomas. Those guys are in a pretty messy way right now, but we'll see. Let's push those guys in, come and make sure they stay off of Culp Hill. Good, let's get these guys facing in the right direction. these guys as well firing what are they doing behind me what are they doing there the buggers all right get cannons into that lot union has secured Culp's hill Hold that position, gentlemen. Get the reinforcements into Culp's. Bring him back. Let's move these guys up. See if they can engage there. Get these guys moving up. move up as well. It's all very shambolic, isn't it? Actually, let's move these guys here and they can attack on that flank. Okay. Confederates still have the advantage, I believe. Yeah, they've still got more men. They keep pushing. Oh, heavens! The Louisiana Tigers have just gone ham. My boys. Move these guys up there onto the flanks. Let's bring this guy back and keep him firing. Uh, 
Right, let's bring rug up a bit further. I have vinegar, or vinegar, 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 whatever the hell his name is, up a little bit as well. Let's bring these guys in, like so. Yeah, we lost Culp's Hill again. God damn it. Let's move these guys up. Actually, let's move them there. Take them off a run. Get them to hold position. Get them to rotate. So let's get Stannard up. And Custer or Costa up as well. Kind of what I do like a lot about this game is it does give you kind of a sort of sh an idea of the shambolic nature of battle, and I think that's a great thing. But they're in danger of breaking. got the advantage of me numbers wise let's move these guys up let's move these guys up as well Turn candy rounded fire at them. It's just such a simple, simple premise, simple game, and simple I tend to find tend to be the best. Tigers under fire there. Move him up. Move him back up. Get these guys engaging. Still got 3,000 men more than me, and that's a lot of men. Reynolds doing a good job. Oh, goody gum drops. Get those boys involved as well. Cannon into that lot. Get Paul up further. move these guys back a little bit I think turn the fall back a bit get Dilja shoot at that lot and Rug as well these guys moving up the center like so move them up move them up move them up let's see how that works out Still losing troops at a significantly higher rate than he is. This is a bit of a concern.
Hmm. Okay. Fire indeed. So now we can see these guys move up here. These guys can move there. Change that to canister. Ah, oh, screw it. Change it to auto. Let him decide. Get them to move up as well. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, let's move them there. Them there. They're already moving that way. So we can push that point there. Move them round so they're pointing in that direction. Take rounds, deal with these guys if you can. Okay. Hmm. Get a pull to push up the advantage. And this one as well. back a bit. Okay. So it's not looking good. It looks like we've lost both those points. And our soldiers are being pushed back, which is not good. Wow, look at this. Pinned in there. What in the hell? Ooh. Oh dear. Stonewall Brigade, fine name, fine history. Okay, what can we do? Yeah, we're losing badly at the moment. This is not good. Get these guys in on that flank. These guys up as well. Hmm. Get those guys to move in. I wonder if you can... Yeah, you can. I like that. But only lets you draw it up to one certain point, which is kind of nice. So there you go. That's the tactical maneuver they're going to make. See, known as the penis. Anyway, let's see. So let's see what we got here. Bring candy into there. So then turn a fight. What can we do here to get this back? Not surprised. They are pretty exhausted. I would be too fighting for that long in that sort of hot, sticky atmosphere. Pulling back. No attempts to push in. Hmm. 
Oh, we lost Cemetery Hill. Oh, joy. You just can't seem to push back at them. Really having troubles with that. Damn it, major defeat. Bugger. Buggering ass. Oh well. We'll see you next time for more. Take care everyone.